So with this very powerful formula right here, where the delta G equals the delta H minus T delta S, and that delta S stands for the system. Whenever you don't see what this says down here, because there's no subscript, it actually means system. That's the delta S system. That reaction can tell you if a reaction is spontaneous or not. It can tell you some other things too. We'll sh I'll show you right now. But the interesting thing is, you can look at a chemical reaction, and, and here's the thing. Most of the tests that you're going to write, um, don't really worry too much about whether you can plug in numbers and find a number here. Everybody kind of knows that by this stage of the game, you can actually plug numbers in and, and, and do math. But do you understand what this equation is saying? That's the type of question you're going to be asked. So now here, now watch this. Here's a reaction right here. Water liquid turns into water gas. I want to know if it's spontaneous or not. So this is what I do. I understand that water liquid going to water gas would be a huge increase in the amount of chaos going from left to right, order to disorder. So that's positive system entropy, right? Okay, now what do I else, what do I else know about this reaction? What else do I know? I know this, that in this reaction right here, it's endothermic. Water liquid has to absorb energy to turn into water gas. That means that the reaction has a positive delta H. Now look at that. In order to be spontaneous, the delta G value has to be a negative. Okay? So what does that mean? Well, negative times... Now, the temperature! Oh, but what if the temperature is negative? Can't be a negative. Why not? Because it's in kelvins. Why not? Because kelvins bottoms out at zero and you can't have zero kelvin, right? And by the way, the third law of thermodynamics is the entropy of a perfect crystal at zero kelvins is zero. Do you know what that means? That means that if you could cool something to zero kelvins, everything about that substance would be absolutely perfectly crystallized, nothing moving, no electrons moving, and you've got no entropy at all because everything is in perfect order. Mm -hmm. So that's the third law of thermodynamics. But look, hey, here's the deal. The temperature can never be a zero or a negative, and so therefore, this is going to be a negative value here for this reaction, but a positive value here. So which one wins? Well, it depends on the temperature. So that reaction depends on temperature. And here's what you know, because it's water liquid turned into water gas. That at normal atmospheric pressure, at 100 degrees Celsius, which would be 373K, this reaction would be at equilibrium. But anything less than 100, it's non-spontaneous, and anything greater than 100 degrees Celsius, and it would be spontaneous, right? So somebody would ask you, is this reaction spontaneous in you, or not? And you would say, well, it depends. It depends on the temperature. And maybe you don't know what that temperature is, but as long as you say, well, no, I don't know because this reaction is temperature dependent, good on you. You've actually said it correctly. Now, what about this reaction here? Well, let's balance it. Two of those, two of those, right? Six of those, so you're going to have three of those. And you're going to then, by the way, that's going to be four plus three is seven oxygens. So if you actually put a seven there and a two there, and a four here and a six here, you've got a balanced reaction, right? Now this is the combustion of ethane. So here's what you know about the combustion of ethane. That's a, an exothermic reaction, so it's a negative for its delta H. That makes sense. Now, what's happening in the system? what you can do is just look at the number of molecules that there are from reactants to products and you can make a good guess. System-wise, we're all here, everybody's a gas. If there were solids here and gases over here, it would be a huge increase in entropy. If there were gases here and they turned into solids, it would be a huge decrease in entropy. Negative here for that value right there. But what is it here when they're all gases? Well, if that's all equal, Look at the number of moles that are produced because more molecules makes more different positions that everything can assume in three-dimensional space and more randomness. Seven molecules, um, two plus seven is nine molecules, makes ten. That's an increase in chaos. And so therefore, that's a positive here. Is this reaction spontaneous? Take a look. It's got to be a negative delta G, and it is, if... You have a negative here, which you do, minus a positive, which makes it, and temperature has to be positive. And so the idea is that negative and negative make negative. This reaction is spontaneous, no matter what the temperature is. Whatever value you put in here that's greater than zero, you're always going to have a spontaneous reaction. So what do we say? 
this reaction is spontaneous at any temperature. Now, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay. Now, what about this reaction right here? Well, we're going from four molecules to two molecules. These are all gases. So four molecules to two would mean that system-wise, we are getting more ordered. Yeah? We're producing less molecules, and that's more order. So that's a negative value for here. So negative, negative, that's a positive. That could be non-spontaneous. But this reaction, if you look it up in your data booklet, because the heat of formation of NH3 is what this reaction is. Remember? The elements making a compound. You can look up the heat of formation, the delta H. And that delta H is a negative, because it's negative for this reaction about negative 92 kilojoules. So it's a negative. So, is this reaction spontaneous? And you say, well, it's exothermic, which leads, you see, if, if, it's, if a reaction's exothermic, that's half the battle, right? But it's a decrease here, po negative and negative is a positive. So that's a, a, a decrease in entropy, it's an increase in order. Positive here, negative here, well, it, again, it's going to depend on the temperature as to whether or not that's spontaneous. Okay, cool.